not least, I kind of wanted to I kind of wanted to touch on like the P Diddy situation. So any everybody knows who P Diddy is, Sean Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, P Diddy, uh, the guy who has Bad Boy Records, um, the guy who was infamous in the music industry for having these wild and crazy parties, uh, the guy who introduced the world to Notorious B.I.G. Uh, Junior Mafia, Lil Cease, Lil Kim, um, um, MGK, you know, he was signed a bad boy for a little bit. Uh, um, R.I.P. Black Rob, he was a part of uh, Bad Boy. Mace, you know, he was. And uh, yeah, and, and the list goes on and on the amount of artists, but a lot of those artists ended up leaving unhappy from Bad Boy. And that may not have played a factor in what happened, but uh, somebody might say it's karma. But years ago, I remember on The Breakfast Club when accusations was, was being brought against Diddy for being like, I, I can't remember exactly what it was. I don't know if they were accusing him for being an abuser or it was something negative, right? And P. Diddy was on, on there talking about like how, you know, He's living out his purpose and nobody can interfere with God's plan or God has for me and things like that. And he said people were just after him for money and things like that. Now, fast forward from then all the way up until now. The hotel. Um, no, see, I'm kind of jumping around. Cassie, who was a. Who was a girl who had that song called, you know, Me and You back in the day, um, back in like the early 2000s. She was like kind of like a petite, like almost kind of like a Puerto Rican petite type of girl. And uh, she had dated P. Diddy for a while. And for some time, she was talking about how P. Diddy had, you know, abused her and things like that. Now, mind you, around this time, Cassie was accusing P. Diddy of this. There were some false accusations being made against black men in the industry, whether it be football or whatever. So it's kind of difficult to take your word for it. Um, when they have all these other cases that has been false, it's, it's difficult. I'm not saying that it wasn't true. I'm saying that it was difficult because that was a, that was a thing. Women would hook up with celebrities or basketball players and then they will lie and say that they were sexually assaulted or something like that to try to get money out of them. And we don't find out that the girl lied until like years later. So when Cassie came out, it was during the midst of that. And um, it was it was difficult to believe her because of those other surrounding cases that were going on. Those other high profile cases that had happened and that was uh, currently happening. So for years, you know, Cassie, she moved on with her life. She's doing whatever she's doing. I, I, I believe she's a. Uh, in a relationship or, or, or either she's married or something like that now. And, uh, the hotel from, um, I guess the hotel when, when Cassie and P Diddy were together, they went to a hotel and they kind of like rented out the top floor. Like P Diddy had rented out the top floor. And sometimes celebrities do that when they go to a hotel just for, you know, just to have some privacy. And that, that way people ain't rushing them every time they come out their room and things like that. So they rented out a hotel and in the security footage, they show Cassie, she had a hoodie on, she had a bag with her, and she was going to the elevator, and she was getting ready to leave. Then P. Diddy, he runs down the hallway in a towel, um, looks like he was on something, like he was either just mad or he was drunk or high, whatever the case was. He runs up to Cassie, grabs her by the back of her neck, by the back of the hoodie, throws her down, and starts actually stomping her. Like this is actually caught on camera. You can watch it on YouTube. I can't play that on TikTok. Not while they get again. TikTok is waiting on me to mess up in order for me to, you know, what I'm saying get in trouble. I can't play that on here. But if you go to YouTube, look up that footage. It's on there. So cat. So the whole time Cassie was saying that Diddy had abused her. There's hardcore evidence right there that Diddy did that. And for that, he deserves jail time. And God knows whatever else he did. You know, they raided his house. Um, you know, when he tried to, when they first tried to catch him, he got on a private jet and he dipped off somewhere. I don't know where he dipped off to and his son got caught and his son got cases of drugging women. I don't know what, you know, it's just messed up. 
I know one of his sons is in the clear. I, I think his other son name is like Christian or something, and he separated himself from him fa- from his father years ago. Like you don't even uh, hear about him anymore because he's off doing his own thing. He's good, you know. That's uh, what that is. But I think his his first son King Combs, he ended up you know being the one getting in trouble and all that. But uh, um, P Diddy, he uh, yeah, th- th- they were pretty much trying to get him. I don't know who he pissed off to get that footage put out, uh, whatever the case like that, but they went after him and they got him. So the thing is, when you are being accused of being an abuser and you denied it for so long and then they actually show footage of you doing the abusing and then you try to come on t- on you know social media on YouTube or whatever and say, you know, I I can't believe I did that. I'm disgusted. I'm going to go get help and all this. It's too late already because you denied it for so long. You knew you did that. You knew you did all that. You knew you were guilty of all that. You denied that it happened, you know, and at the time people believed you because people were getting falsely accused of being an abuser. But because you denied it and you ended up getting caught on footage, you deserve jail time for that. That's a crime. So that portion of it, I'm completely with, you know, lock him up, let him do his time. Let him come out and get back to doing Harlem shakes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he paid Cassie 50 million or whatever the case is for whatever damages uh, he did to her. So she got paid off whatever she was uh, looking to get, if she was looking to get anything. But, um, but the one thing I wanted to say on this is that we got to be careful when, I, I said this last year and I said this, I got videos saying this back in 2017. Uh, you have people in this world that like to hide in the shadows and wait for somebody in society to be labeled as the bad guy so that that person can jump out and pretend to be the hero. And oftentimes that person that's trying to pretend to be the hero has some skeletons in their closet that, that they don't want you to to pay attention to. So they always try to use the society's bad guy as the scapegoat, you know, keep your attention on him. Don't look over here. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, we have to be careful. Like for example, R Kelly, we know all the crazy stuff R Kelly did by now. If you don't know, look it up. The man liked, um, little girls. So he's in jail for that. You know, artists that was on the tour bus with him, you know, the mothers that were literally dressing up their daughters as grown women just to try to get R. Kelly to, you know what I'm saying, be with them and possibly get something out of it. Uh, you know, those mothers are guilty too. But then you had a few women who lied about even having an association with uh, R. Kelly. Like, for example, it was one girl that was infamous. I think her name was like um, uh, Ashley McGee. When they were doing like, I guess like the, it was almost like a press conference where Ashley McGee was trying was trying to like promote that R. Kelly had did something to her or tried to like, you know, make it known. Um, when they were asking her questions, mind you, you're the one that's claiming to get abused by R. Kelly. You should have all the answers. Nobody should have to step in for you and tell your story. And it was just like little stuff like that. I, I remember one video was going on. Ashley McGee, she was on the, you know, she was on the stand or and they had like, cameras and everything. And she was talking about how R. Kelly did X, Y, Z to her and all this. And when they were asking her questions about, you know, the, the interaction, she couldn't answer those questions. And this was stuff that if you really got abused by this man, you should know this. So she would leave the podium and the, I guess the manager or the lawyer or whoever the hell he's supposed to be to her would come up and speak for her and finish the story about X, Y, Z. Like, how would you know about what she went through? You wouldn't, you wasn't there. So what I'm saying is, yeah, the, the person is guilty, but let's not be crazy enough to just fall for the ones that's lying to try to get something out of it. Cause you know, it's going to be like a slew of cases out of nowhere with the, with the P Diddy situation. Yes. He deserves to be in jail for Cassidy. Yes. He deserves to be in jail for all the abuse that he's done all the crazy stuff that he did. He deserves that. But let's not be so gullible as to fall for the fact that 
because he's like public enemy number one right now, let's not start believing the liars that's popping up out of nowhere trying to get a payday. You know, let's not be that stupid. You know, people already believe the woman got hit in the face, you know, with a brick. And she ended up getting $50,000 out of that. So all I'm saying is we got to be careful with who we believe from this point forward. Yes, Diddy deserves to be in jail for, for what he did, but nobody deserves to be lied on for any type of nefarious means. So let's keep our, our, our mind open to that. So that's all I wanted to say about the PDA situation. So that was all my topics for the day. We spoke on Dragon Ball, Sparkling Zero, Nintendo shutting down Ryu Jinx, um, and the Diddler himself. So, yeah, that was my special vlog for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, in the future, I'll try to do more of these if any topic, you know, uh, if any topic interests me. So with that being said, peace, and I will see you guys later.